We all like to get away now and again. And what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here across the week as we check in to five hotels so we can check them out for you. Welcome all. We are staying at the Hoxton in Shoreditch. This is a four-star hotel, and this isn't your typical hotel. It is one of those boutique hotels in a chic area. Um, so I, so we are going to check in for one day and have a look around Shoreditch, and then I will take you around the room once I've checked in. This way, 234 is the number. Oh wow, look, there is a massive mirror um, for when you need to get ready in the morning. Oh my gosh, look, look at this bed. It's a queen size bed and there is a, um, a headrest area so that you don't bang your head against the wall. There is a chair rest. There is a desk and work area. There's a kettle. There's a radio. They even have some provisions over here. They have some glasses just in case you need it for entertainment purposes. And we have a really good view of the Nisa Loco, which we might even go into later on. Okay, look, there is a safe for you to put your essential property. And they have a refrigerator with water and even milk for when you want to have milk with your tea or coffee. Now let's have a look inside the bathroom, shall we? They don't have a bathtub, so then I guess this will do. This is nice. Um, I do like the look of that shower head, um, it's gonna be quite powerful, I think. There's also this part, which kind of squirts out water, I'm assuming. I think this looks fairly easy to use. Um, I do like the color palette of this gray um, tiles. Um, towels over here, and they have uh, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, so it's very good, I reckon, and they even have a nice big mirror with extra big lights. I think it always seems like whenever you check out, you are bringing more than when you <laughs> came in. Um, so that is a good sign of a good say, I believe. Uh, so in terms of what I think of the Hoxton, here is my review of the Hoxton in Shoreditch. Um, firstly, I think that the bed was way too soft. I think I am accustomed to sleeping on a harder mattress, so that took some getting used to. I think I eventually did fall asleep. But I think the mattress was way too soft. I think it would be a better option if they offered things such as like a harder mattress or a soft mattress for those that want it. Secondly, the pillows were way too soft. Um, I don't. I think I'm more accustomed to sleeping on like a firmer mat, on a firmer pillow. So it seemed a bit 
too soft and my head was sinking into the pillow rather than being supported by it. Thirdly, the charging cables or the charging area is in um, a bit of an obscure or hard to reach location and it's not really that visible. We had to go looking for these two. There's two on the other side of the bed as well, which is where Marcus was sleeping. So it was hidden and yes, I guess it's what they want to have where it's not in the way of things, but then at the same time, doesn't it defeat the purpose if it's hard to find and then you have to look with a magnifying glass. So I think we discovered these plugs last night um, and we just discovered <laughs> these plugs now, the USB, because we were looking for the USB um, plug. A good thing is that they have the EU plugs and also a US plug for those that are international travelers. Even though the room is overlooking the main road outside, these windows are quadruple glazed, so you didn't hear a drop of noise from outside. So that is definitely a plus point indeed. I am very impressed with the array of books that they have on offer from Barbara Taylor Bradford to, Paul, to Paul O'Grady even to Colleen Nolan. It's a lot of interesting diverse type of books that I think people might find interesting. So kudos for that. The Hoxton Hotel has a roof garden bar upstairs, which you could go to, but then you need to make a reservation to go onto the roof. But we did go to the main bar downstairs on the ground floor level. It was very busy, it was very hip. Um, I think it was quite crowded, but it did give you the impression that you didn't have to step outside the hotel in order to have a good time. You could have it right in the hotel itself, which was very good indeed. Thank you for watching the show today. If you like what you see, please subscribe.